Hello, welcome to Rhonda Said. I'm Rhonda, I love saying things. I'm Rome. He's Rome, he's my sweet baby. Mm -hmm. And today, like we do just about every month for the last several months, we're gonna be unboxing and trying the treats box. What is the treats box? It's about 25 bucks a month and it is treats from around the world. Every month is a special country. And we never know what it's gonna be. You never know. I'm just cracking it open now with my magic scissors that were procured for me by my sweet mm -hmm. baby Rome. He got them especially for my channel. They're glittery. They're shimmery. They got iridescent. different colors. And this box is tough to open. <gasps> Russia! China. China. It looks like Russia. Or something. We well, maybe not. Turkey. Turkey. It's Turkey. Well, I don't know. <gasps> we don't know flags! We're really cute, but we don't know the flags. American, why do we need to know that? Turkey. Istanbul was Constantinople. Yeah, it a turkey. It's not just for Thanksgiving anymore. It's turkey. Welcome to Turkey. This month's treats come from a country that occupies a unique geographic position located partly in Asia, partly in Europe. Throughout its history, Turkey has acted as both a barrier and a bridge between two continents. Istanbul, located in both Asia and not Europe. Not Constantinople. Not Constantinople. Is the largest city in both Turkey and Europe with 15 million people. I had no idea. The Turkish are also known for the love of biscuits, hazelnuts, and chocolate. This is why inside your box you'll get a taste of Turkey's favorite wafers, crackers, cookies, and biscuits, including the best-selling Haley biscuits, chocolate dipped marshmallow biscuits, coconut flavored chocolate bars. Oh, this sounds like candy right up our with alley. caramel filled and coated in milk chocolate and more. Turkish oh, yeah. delight. Fuck yeah. yeah, man. Hell to the yeah, yeah. This is you know, amazing. Other parts of the world must think our biscuits and gravy sounds gross. I think our biscuits and gravy sounds gross. Anyway, uh, turkey facts. There's some stuff. Let me read it. Okay. Okay. There's a recipe for baklava. Ah, Turkish baklava. Baklava. Bakla baklava. Baklava. Like when you land in the pit, you're in your baklava. 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 Did you know Santa Claus is known as Saint Nicholas was born in Petara, Turkey in the third century AD? No, that's enough. <laughs> People just want to see us eat these delicious treats and talk about them. We've got a list of what they are. Oh, King Louis. Louis. King Louis is here. Hi, buddy. He says, he heard me say treats like 12 times, so he thinks it's cat time. Yeah. All right, let's, you pick something first. Oh, uh, let's see what this red feller is. What does it say? It is called a, a Dido. A Dido chocolate by Ulker, U-L-K-E-R, Ulker. Dido chocolate by Ulker is Turkey's version of a Kit Kat, and we love them. Crispy wafer fudge bars covered in chocolate. Each bite brings delight. It's not just a pop singer from the 90s. Dido. Yeah. Oh, goodness. It's a Kit Kat. Oh, it's wow. It's a Turkish Kit Kat. Dido Kit Kat. We'll just take a bite of it. We ain't going to eat the whole thing. Mmm. It's very firm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, not quite as smooth and chocolate as a Kit Kat, but it's definitely the same ingredients, pretty much. Very good. I'll finish mine later. Next up, I want to do the Haley cake. And it looks like a moon pie. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what a moon pie is, it's like cookie Look it up. cookies, <coughs> like a cookie, marshmallow, and then some kind of coating, usually chocolate. Mm -hmm. And that's what it looks like. Open it up, baby. And the Haley Biscuit by Ulker, everything is by Ulker, except for like one thing. 
These are the top selling treats in the world, consisting of tasty marshmallow wedge between two vanilla biscuits and then dipped in chocolate. It's no surprise that everyone loves these. It looks straight up like a freaking moon pie. It's a freaking moon pie. It's a moon pie. It's very good. Moon pies are delicious. You got a got milk with this box. I got water. Mm -hmm. Oh, they had another one in here too. We got two of them. But you have that flavor. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we needed to open all of them all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Next is Metro. Metro. Oh, put it closer to the camera. The Metro by Ulker is a delicious chocolate bar with caramel nougat filling. Considered a classic in Turkey, it's the perfect treat to enjoy any time of the day when you feel a sweet tooth. Ooh, Ooh that looks amazing. I love caramel and chocolate and nougat. Mmm. Mmm, it's like a Milky Way. And the Three Musketeers had a baby. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Milky Way and Three Musketeers had a baby. Man, that's right up my alley. Mm. I used to have to eat two candy bars to get that sensation. My favorite bite of candy is a Twix and a bite of Kit Kat. That's why I had a Twix Kit Kat cake made by my baby once. It's <laughs> freaking amazing. Let's do these. All right. This cream. They're by Uber too. Fish cream biscuits like by Euchler were the first biscuits in Turkey to contain a filling. They became a nationwide sensation at the time of their release, and years later, Biskrim, Biskrim is one of the Turkey's most popular biscuits. Mm -hmm. It looks like a Fig Newton. Yeah, you got one in there. I was just, I just wanted to party one. Yeah. Is it chocolate filling? Mm-hmm. It's just a good cookie with chocolate filling. It's like a softer vanilla wafer kind of taste. Coco Star. Coco Star by Ulker. Our chocolate covered coconut bars. If you're a fan of coconut and chocolate, which I am. Then you're in luck. Cocoa Star blends the best of both worlds in a unique, satisfying, delish, really delicious chocolate coconut bar. Louie, well, you don't want chocolate coconut. Mmm. The chocolate's really soft, but it's mm -hmm. like a man's bar. Mm-hmm. Really good. I wish there was more savory stuff. There is some savory stuff um, in here. Um, and Joy has nuts. Mounds, Mounds don't. don't. Oh my God, I've got a stack here of like, goodies. Have, have goodies to eat that I've only taken a tiny bite goodies. of. Let's see something savory. Yeezy. Mm. Yeezy, cheese crackers. Let me find them on the card. CZ. It's a C. Oh, that's a C. By Ookler is a salty cracker with delicious filling of cheese. Now you don't have to get off your couch and get a can of cheese to enjoy a chasey cheese and cracker sandwich. Well, can of cheese. I like how they put that in there. I don't see a filling. Do you see a filling? No. It's faintly cheesy, but it, it's got a nice salt to it, especially after eating all the sweet stuff. <laughs> Very good. Not unlike a club cracker, but not a salty. No, but it could certainly accompany canned cheese. Yeah. It, instead of a chicken and a biscuit, you get this cheesy, faintly cheesy cracker. Just go. <laughs> It's like they took cheese and just waved it over the cracker. 
They just said, oh, here's a little cheese. It ain't nothing like a cheese it for sure. No. Okay, you can pick the next one. Oh, there's more. There's so much more. Albini. I like Steve Albini, my favorite Albini. music producer. Albini Bite is by Ulker, and chocolate bars consist of biscuit cookie interior covered with caramel and coated in milk chocolate, both crunchy and chewy in texture. Oh, yeah. And each bite delivers a blast of rich and smooth chocolate. Mmm. If Kit Kats had a soft cookie instead of a crisp cookie. Yeah. It's pretty close. Really good. It's seen a theme. This country certainly likes its chocolate. Which we don't mind. No. no. It's good stuff. And eight cat. Eight keck. I'm trying to find it on here. Not seven. Let me look at it. Oh, there it is. Eight cake. It's a Dan Keck Eight Cake by Ulfer. It's a fruit flavored cake with delicious flavor as well as a liquid fruit flavored cream filling. Oh my. It, it looks comes like in a convenient little like package. Flare. <gasps> it it's, it's like a little, a little like flare. So you can have your cake and eat it too. You'd like. And it has a break. No filling. It's just a little cake with some chocolate. We have a bite of that and I'll eat the rest of it. Oh, oh it's got a cake. little bit of... Show them the filling. Yeah. It has some, like, a gel or some little jelly fill. It's just a vague fruit flavor. It doesn't yeah. taste like any specific fruit. It's not a lot. It's pretty good. It's definitely no hostess cake. Definitely good with coffee. Okay, we've got two things left. Oh my God, this is thirsty work. Uh -huh. um, Mamur with real dates. This is the only one not by Ulker. Mamur by Asati is a traditional cookie with date filling that will melt in your mouth. Recommended to enjoy with a cup of milk or tea. Oh, it resembles those little things like you get in the deli that have the fruit in the middle, only it's like covered and like it's got a, yeah, a bit of a filling. In it. Yeah. Let me just take a bite of that. Oh, real crumbly, very, um, very sandy texture. Yeah. That would definitely go with coffee or milk. But it one. does melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of fig. Yeah, it's like a crumbly fig Newton for real. That is that is our fig Newton. Mm -hmm. One thing left. Ulkar chocolate. Let me look at it. I'm trying to find it on here. Chocolate. Help I, me, help I think it's it. another version of saying chocolate. Right, but help me find it. it on here. Oh, it's chocolate wafer by Ochre. Nothing can top a classic wafer, especially when it's filled with creamy chocolate filling. These wafers from Ochre pack a ton of crunch and flavor and are even better when paired with your favorite ice cream. Or milk or coffee. Or a bottle of icy cold water. Crunch. It's a wafer. We love a wafer. You say wafer thin. This ain't very thin. Mm. Huh? Like those little wafer, uh, ladyfinger wafer thingies only covered with chocolate. Not like a ladyfinger. It's just like wafers covered in chocolate. You know what I mean. Sometimes, depending on who it is, it's what they call Lady fingers are a soft. Cake. I know what they are, but I'm saying the wafers sometimes they call them the lady finger. I it's just agree to disagree. Wrongly labeled. All right. Well, this was our box this month. We tore it up. We tore it up and tore through it. And this is in record time for us. Usually it's a much longer video, but 
And there was uh, how many things here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 delicious things that we tasted. Well, if you're going to count to 12, you got to do it the other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That was Sesame yeah. Street, actually. I thought it was Electric Company. Nope. Really? Yeah, for reals. I've been not a child too long. This is Rhonda in Rome saying thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll be here next month with another country that we'll have to guess because we don't know freaking flags. Bye. <laughs>